all marketing's been data driven. All we've got now is lots more data, most of it useless, right? So you've got a whole generation who don't know how to do it. And that's what's happened is you've got this fashion industry in marketing. We follow FOMA, oh, we've got to run down here and we need to do our TikTok or we need to be on Faye, we need to be doing, you know, on Google Glass or something like that. You had this generation that followed fashion and, you know, didn't study history. Cheers. There is a whole generation who, indulge me for a second, even the Direct Marketing Association went, oh, we think it's old-fashioned. We'll change our name to the Data Driven and Advertising Association. I mean, all marketing has been data driven. All we've got now is lots more data, most of it useless, right? So you've got a whole generation who don't know how to do it. And as if marketing was never data driven. Uh, you ask any retailer how they use data up there to service a customer. They need to read direct marketing books because I've relaunched my I've had it for a long time now, but I've just relaunched my agency, Malcolm Wall Direct. I will be the only agency in the country with a direct in its name because everyone followed fashion. And that's what's happened is you've got this fashion industry in marketing. We follow FOMA, oh, we've got to run down here and we need to do our TikTok or we need to be on Facebook, we need to be doing, you know, on Google Glass or something like that. You had this generation that followed fashion and, you know, didn't study history. So now if you're going to start, you're going to struggle if you don't, you don't most people don't even know. I was talking to someone who has an online education business with, they've had over 100,000 customers. They don't have their mailing address. So they can't even go back and mail anything to them because they've never bothered to, to find that out. Um, you know, so uh, they also didn't know that there was a list industry. Here's the interesting thing is, that there is a whole list industry where you can go out and rent lists of prospects and they don't even know that. They think, oh no, well, let's do a lookalike list on Facebook. That's where we need to be, you know. Or in, they don't know that in B2B, you can rent a list of the IT managers in this country and just mail straight to them, right, and get to them directly. Uh, you either need to read a couple of decent direct marketing books, but also you've got to find a mail house who can put it all together and a printer because here's, we have lost a lot of print skills in agencies. Right, because they, and that's a skill. It's a real skill to set a piece of type and a piece of, you know, to print something and mail it. And, you know, what you don't want is them saying, right, oh, let's design this and find it doesn't fit in an envelope, which I've seen happen. They get to the mail house and the piece of paper that they printed doesn't actually fit inside the envelope. And they've got to go and buy larger envelopes or something like that. So it's a long-winded answer to say it's a little tough. Uh, you know, I can plug my own service, but I will be one of the only direct response agencies in the country. Don't go to a digital marketing agency. That's the big warning.